Yeah, we're beauty's big sister. Check it. Uh. Hi, girls. Welcome back to my beauty's big sister channel. I am going to do my full face of everyday, holy grail, everyday makeup routine products that I use without fail that I run out of and repurchase. <laughs> Um, these are the products that I am loving. A lot of them launched last year actually I think. So yeah, we can have a proper chat, a catch up and I will show you what I've been using every day. This is very overdue. I think it was like over a year ago since I um, filmed my everyday makeup routine. So there's going to be a lot of different products in this new updated one. Obviously this is a very new addition to my makeup routine. Literally been using it for the past week but I love it. So I'm going to include it in this video. Um, it's the new MAC Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. It's actually really, really nice for underneath makeup. So I feel like I'm probably going to end up using this more as like a pre-primer stage before, before putting on makeup because it just gives you a beautiful, like dewy finish to the skin. Um, with my primer, ever since I ran out of my Bare Minerals, um, the little little pump one that's got a slight tint to it, it would have been in my last um, everyday makeup routine video, ever since I've run out of that, I've not really restocked. I mean, I know I've showed you this a million times before, I have the tiniest little bit of this. This is a really, really good primer. I really, really like this, but it is... A little bit pricey but it is very good and it lasts for ages because you only need the tiniest bit but it just makes your skin feel so soft this is the hourglass vow mineral primer and then loving this little beauty which is the vive skin nova this has like a slight tint to it again just makes your skin really soft and really really dewy i also love this as like a highlighter over makeup as well. I've seen that they've brought out like a super size of this now which looks huge but this has lasted me for a really really long time. Okay now foundations. I of course still love my YSL. I'm always going to have that in my kit because I love it but yeah this is a foundation you can see that I have been loving throughout the whole of last year or ever since it launched. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Like it just applies like an absolute dream like the difference that it makes to my skin um i just love this and i've found myself reaching for it consistently when i finished that bottle i wanted another one straight away but i just love how it's got a really really good coverage to it but it's also really nice and dewy you can build it up i use this for like day to day you could use this quite sheer with like a fluffy brush or mixing in with your serum but then you can also really pack this on and build it up for like a full glam so this brush will forever be my favorite brush you can see that Callie's chewed the bottom of it but I am not throwing this away this is the Bobbi Brown full coverage face which I am now keeping out of Callie's hands <laughs> for concealer this is Oh, incredible. And actually my favourite new brand discovery of last year. I adore everything about this brand. I love that it's like female run. I love that, you know, it's just a young girl like you and me that has founded this brand. And it is blooming amazing. And um, they're actually now on QVC as well, um, which is brilliant. But this is the Sculpted by Amy Satin Silk Concealer. And when I say this has just overtook any concealer that I use it that I used to use, like that are a lot more expensive, this is just amazing. It just glides on. I mean, obviously I've <laughs> I've gone to town there with applying that, but it does just glide on amazingly. It is so buttery, but it just like blends into the skin unbelievably like it is such a good concealer like look at the lift it's given my eyes but it doesn't look heavy on the skin which is oh just what I love about it now I'm, I like to just leave my makeup to marinate for a little bit so I'm gonna let that kind of sink into the skin while I go in with my brows which disclaimer 
I know I've been saying for forever, but they really, really, really need seeing to. Um, so ignore like the whole vibe of them, the shape, the everything, but we're gonna try and make the most out of them um, as much as we can. Now I actually, a brow pencil, and to be fair, the brow gel, I'm still not like holy grail yet, but this I actually picked up when I was at, you know, on a loose whim, like I really, really need a brow pencil. I'd kind of run out of everything I loved, was trying new things, wasn't really a fan. So this is the Maybelline Express Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. Now you can see it's super, super slim. So it is perfect to get in like a really nice flicked up natural kind of brow. I just find it really easy to use. I like that it's, yeah, retractable and I like how slim and neat this pencil is. I think the thicker the pencil, the kind of more like drawn on and heavy they can look. Um, but as I say, I really need some like brow lamination or something done. I've done a few kits at home and it just never lasts the way it does in the salon for me. So it's definitely something I need to get done very, very soon. The shade that I've got is, doesn't actually say the shade, but... I'm gonna go with like dark brown or something. Because <laughs> when I say I waited in a queue to get Beyonce tickets and I was 200,000th in the queue and then when I actually got through, it like the link had broken or something and it didn't, it didn't load, it didn't work. So pre-sale for Beyonce tickets went devastatingly wrong today. <laughs> but yeah, looking on social media, I love that so many of us have really been optimistic in thinking that we would get them and, and given it a good go. Yeah, this is the brow pencil that I've been using. I wouldn't say it really defines the brow or gives a huge amount of like structure. Um, I do like it. It's just not one that I'd be like, you need it. Um, it is nice and I like the comb on this actually but I don't feel like it really lasts on my brows but the fact it's got like a serum in it I feel like it's it's handy for like every day because I'm essentially like doing a treatment at the same time I feel like I need a bit of um eight hour on my lips they look really dry let's do that I should have done that at the start really rather than going with like concealer lips throughout the whole of this video <laughs> but yeah this for me will always be like number one lip balm i use it all the time and i really like using it like of an evening on my cuticles it's like a really intense treatment as well okay now we're going to go in with a bit of powder i love the fenty powder i featured that i probably in my last video of my favorite makeup products um but the laura mercier you like is always a classic i will always you know have this and like keep going back to it but i do still love the fenty one the banana shade is my favorite but this is a new little addition and yes i need to uh give this a wash um the puff i mean laura mercier has been using her puff for like forever but i feel like the puff is having a comeback because of like gen z all using uh puffs now so I'm using a puff now. So for my under eyes, I'm just taking it on the puff, dabbing it on the back of my hand to get rid of the excess and then just patting this in. I don't like to do this for like the whole of my face, but just for the areas where I normally get like a lot of creasing, a lot of shine, like you can see the difference is amazing it just helps so much with like under eye like i always get like a that kind of shadow that you get underneath your eyes and i feel like using a puff actually really really helps to um just eliminate that of shadowing underneath your eye so i have just now taken the rest of that powder the fluffy brush now i mean i'm gonna throw it back this is not a new product but it's a product that i've gone back to and I'm loving in 2022. It's the comeback for me of the NARS Laguna bronzer. Let me know if you used to use this or if you still do because it is such a great bronzer. I run out of my Benefit Hula, which has always been a staple for me. And I went back to this and I was like, oh, it is nice, isn't it? Um, I love the compact of this. I do think it needs a bit of a clean, but I, I just adore this. And I love that I've used this so much, but you can actually still see the NARS embossing on the powder. I don't know if you can see that, but I can, and that makes me happy. So just building this up 
here and it just applies so good. I thought I'd slick my hair back for this video so you can properly see the makeup clearly but um yeah Laguna it's just a classic isn't it it's got like a, that little bit of shimmer in it as well my OG she would have seen this in the last 101 YouTube videos <laughs> but this is the best blush ever if you're looking for a new cream blush invest it's amazing the Bobbi Brown crushed creamy color for cheeks and lips in pink punch I adore this this is a cream blush that has lasted me for months and months and months with literally everyday use just a tiny little bit on the middle finger I just tap 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 this in and it gives the most amazing color payoff like a cream blush because it's in this gorgeous liquid form just adding a little bit more because why not uh, it just leaves you with the most beautiful fresh gorgeous flush with a little bit of glow as well so you don't even need to wear a highlight if you don't want to but this is for me the best blush ever it is oh just so good and it blends and melts into the rest of my makeup amazingly without picking up the product underneath without fading halfway through the day which I find like so many cream blushes do this is just I love putting blush on my nose by the way um this is just the best for highlight there's nothing more I love than the mm, Charlotte Tilbury highlight ones however I've got the tiniest little bit left in my pillow talk medium but this for me is just the best creamy highlight i love it on all skin ages as well like this is so good if you have fine lines around this like region because they don't it doesn't settle into the wrinkle it doesn't you know look sometimes they can look glittery and just not give you that youthful glow which is what we want from a highlighter we want our skin to look lit from within this is just oh love 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 i would tell you that this is my favorite because it is the um decay naked heat but we have a smashed we have a smashed palette so i can't tell you that or show you that because it's i mean i just need to throw it in the bin but oh i love this um yeah i use that all the time i also love the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette but for now i've been using this which uh, again i've broken this palette and one's missing but still the colors are beautiful any kind of warm neutral palette like this i love this particular one is from morphe 9t natural territory it's called but yeah i love the shades or the, these kind of warm neutral shades but you can get this kind of palette from so many brands um but this is just the one i've been digging into recently so going in with the uh, light neutral there for like a little sweep over the eyes and this literally just takes me two seconds in the morning to do um so it's not like i'm doing like a full-on fancy smoky eye every day i know it looks like i've put in a bit of effort to do it but like no joke you all you've just seen how quick that has taken me like two seconds and my smoky eye is done but i do feel a little bit naked now when i don't have um shadow on my on my eyelids so i feel like it has become an everyday makeup look for me i know that before i never used to wear eyeshadow like years and years ago i would have seen this as like my full glam going out but now i'm like every day sometimes for every day i do still like to play with these warmer and darker tones here um let's just do a little bit like a little bit in the outer corner just to enhance that this is the new updated maybelline um liner which i love i love their smoky eyeliners for me they're just the best this is the new one with which is retractable which is just oh made my life it's a tattoo liner smoky and this is like a deep brown shade i just love how this looks and i know that like liners a bit much for everyday wear so i don't always do this but if i'm taking photos or videos i feel like it just helps to define my eyes a little bit and sometimes i do like to take it just a little bit for every day on the lash line right there and just smudge it out you do have a little smudger on the end of this which it actually is quite handy i just don't really use it that often but yeah just a tiny little bit really helps to just 
give you that kind of cat eye look. My favourite mascara launch of last year and one that I am just using to death. I love this. I'm very, very picky with my mascaras, but this is the Max Stack Mascara and damn, this is good at separating the lashes, lengthening, volumizing, just pretty much everything this is good at. Um, if you're just looking to test the mini out, I would really recommend the mini because it's a full size brush in that one. So you've just, you've got a little bit less product because you've the, the actual bottle is smaller, but the wand is still the same. So it's a really good way to try out the mascara if you don't want to invest in the full size, but this is, oh, like boom, look at it. This is like the icing on the cake for me. This is my desert island product. I couldn't be without my mascara because I just feel naked. Like even when I go to a spa or the pool or literally doing anything, I always have my mascara on. Okay, now lastly for lips, I love this lip liner. I love a brown lip liner is what I've realized. So this one is a Max Factor one. And I feel like the wear on it is really good. I feel like you can get really good drugstore lip liners. You know, I love the collection Cappuccino lip liner. If you're looking for a retractable, that is my favorite. Um, the long, the, where it's retractable, they are creamier, which means they don't last as long. Pencils definitely do last longer. Um, this is a really nice shade. I love this. Um, so if you're olive skin tone like me, this will be like your perfect lip liner to go with your neutral lipsticks. Trying to talk while doing lip liner is pretty hard. My obsession with Sculpted by Amy continues. This is the Hydra Lip in Mauve and this is so mm, buttery, so creamy. I love it with a brown lip liner. It is just... Mm, so nice. Every one of my friends that's borrowed this out of my bag has been like, what is that? I need to get it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it's just the best mix of incredible creamy balm with amazing color payoff as well. Like this for me is like my perfect lipstick. Not that I need this at all because obviously this balm is so, so creamy already, but this is my favorite. Bare Minerals, um, like all the packages rubbed off, I've used it that much, but this is the lip gloss balm in Ingenuity. I don't know, but I will link it down below. Anyway, this is such a gorgeous, again, I love a balmy texture. So if you're looking for a non-sticky lip gloss that just glides over the lips, makes your lips look so full and plump and mm, it feels so comfortable on the lips. As I said, there's no sticky formula with this. It's so buttery. It is literally like a lip balm has been melted onto your lip. And that's pretty much everything for my everyday makeup routine. I can do this, no joke, in maximum 10 minutes for when I am rushing and heading out the door in the morning. This is so super, super quick for me and it's just like second nature, these kind of products that I'm using. I know they work. I know I can rely on them. I know that my skin, skin's going to look fresh and glowy and like just, oh, I love it. Also, I'm so happy that I'm starting 2023 with good skin because this time last year, like when I think back to how bad my skin was this time last year, it's actually mad how far it's come. So super, super grateful for that. Please let me know your favorite products right now in the comments below. I'm always intrigued to see what you guys are using and trying. I know that this year needs to be the year that I invest in my Refi brows because I've heard the best thing. So yeah, that needs to be happening. But I have made some TikTok shop buys as well, including a new soap brow. So I'll be sure to try that over on there if you do want to head over there. Thank you so much girls for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Never like the glue on the lashes I'm flea like the brows Never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town Looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever Your community don't tether Yeah, your sister's forever Girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister I said and Put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it